Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from James Milner, and it was uploaded by Electric Dragon 505 and name this video is Top 10 Worst Looney Tunes Characters. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah. Bugs Bunny and all the other Looney Tunes and shit. So we're going to see the worst... Huh, this is a kid's show right here, folks. Now, hold on just a minute. I know what you might be thinking. Is it even possible to make a list like this? I mean, is there even um, such a thing as a maybe. bad Looney Tunes character? They might Don't be get me wrong. I love the Looney Tunes throughout my entire life. And I agree that yeah. they're not just some of the greatest cartoons of all time, but sometimes. the characters are also they some of the masters of comedy. Even after nearly a century, many of them are still beloved icons it, today in it their It was considered own a kid's show Bugs back in the Bunny, day. Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, Porky Pig, Sylvester, and many, many, There's many a lot more. Of them. But let's be honest, with a huge roster of characters over the years, What's not all doing? of them are oh, going to be highly beloved. Cody. And there have been some that make people feel like Yosemite Sam more than Friar Porky. Now, for right this on. top 10, we'll be highlighting him. the real rejects. Not the ones that we love to hate, like Gaffy, we don't know. Sam, or Wally e. Coyote, but the ones that we just generally hate that are either less popular well, for a good reason, are terribly outdated, or just fail to I don't be even remember these two. funny. The one That's rule Mickey I Miles. have, however, is that they must not Tug be one-offs. They must be featured in at least two shorts from the golden age of cartoons or earlier skunk. in they either the him. Looney Tunes or Merry Melodies series to qualify Fucking them as legitimate Looney Tunes members, even if you may wish they weren't. I'm right. Animat, and these are the top 10 I'm worst ready. Looney Tunes characters. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can remember any of these guys. Top 10. Worst Looney Tunes characters. Now let's begin this list with something big. Possibly okay. the biggest character in the entire Looney Tunes that kitten, roster. Sylvester's son? Or at son? least, that's what or Sylvester not. literally thinks. Um, Hippity Hopper. Look at the size of that mouth. I'll admit um, that I don't necessarily have I a think big I problem one. with Hippity himself. I mean, he's just a baby kangaroo. There's only oh, yeah, so much right. that I you can do with a character that's meant to look cute and not get caught by a cat. But the reason why he's starting this list is because his cartoons are, well, repetitive. Most oh, of the are time they? I when don't, he shows I don't know, up, he escapes pay, pay to every and detail. encounters Sylvester, who is usually with his son, where he gets mistaken for a giant mouse. And for if the he has a son, cartoon, that means he had sex with another cat. Kangaroo, Who's his wife? Always fails. What the shit? This fucking kangaroo bitch. Scrappy do. To be That's fair, that there have of. been a few rare instances where creator Bob McKimson did change up the formula a little bit to make more room for fresh material, like Bell Hoppy, where Sylvester tries to put a bell around his neck so that he can join really? the club, or Lighthouse Mouse, where both Hippity Man, and these are Sylvester so old. fight for switching the lights on a lighthouse. But again, most of the time, all he does is the same giant mouse stick. At least the other well, Tom and Jerry is repetitive like too. It does the same Gonzales shit. Gonzalez can provide new material so to help the Mario make games. cartoons stand out. Rescue the Whether princess it be over changing and over. locations or playing with their personalities. People find Even that if racist. I said that there's not much to criticize. Everything's him, racist there's now. There's also not much to remember him by as a non-verbal baby kangaroo. Yeah, Hippity I don't remember too much about him. may be cute the first few times you meet him, but like where he's from. His charm and memorability go down under real quick. Wow. This town's not big enough for both of us. One of us has got to go. Uh, goodbye now. Hey, left. Number nine. This one is going to be a little different because 
this character is here not because he's bad and hateable, Which one is it? but it's the one that I actually feel the most sorry for. Sounds weird, I know, but let me I'm gonna wait till you announce the name. We all know Porky Pig, right? One yeah. of the most iconic stars of the Looney Tunes, who is remembered most for coming out of that drum at the end going... <laughs> That's all, folks. I was about to make the sound for you, but he did it. While he's mostly known as the Toon's go-to straight man, some may forget that he's actually the first member of the LT crew. Huh. And during his beginnings, he was a very, very, very awkward kid. I didn't watch this far back now. I don't even look like him. That's a different version. <sighs> no, I'm not putting Porky Pig in general here but rather the early version of him from 1935 yeah, to 1937. 1937. In his wow. debut, I Haven't Got a Hat, the short one at each of the characters... They just fired that pig and hired out, another one. Like the twins, the incredibly shy one, the candy-loving rapscallion, and the pompous nerd. When it came to Porky, however, they decided to make him unique by giving him a stutter. You know what and he looks like, right? Signature way of talking, he looks like the guy I who does like the butt bangs. Real bad stuttering it's problem. your fault. Half a leg, half a leg onward. How is that Kevin Owens too from WWE? That voice. Forward, it, it, it don't match. Sounds bad, right. huh? Well, that's because really Porky's bad. original voice was from a man who had an actual speech disorder, Joe Darty. Really? Since this was the mid-1930s, and it was during a time when some comedy can go as low as, Ha ha, they're different! Porky's stuttering was both to make him unique and for the audience to laugh well, at the way he talks. you don't want everybody being the same. However, watching his early days now is actually more unpleasant. People think I sound funny for some Joe reason. Really we all got different ways we talk. And the saddest part is that he inevitably lost his role because he spent so much time stuttering that it ended up making him too expensive to record. That doesn't Shit. make me want to laugh. It makes me feel sorry for the guy. Well, let's hear it. Well, there you go. It's a unique voice. If you get that bag for Which one are we paying attention to now? This one or the other one? Daughter. Thankfully, when Mel He's Boy took up his like place, Elmer Fun. he found a way to make the stuttering more harmless and comical turning Porky into the legend we know him today. Yeah, his, but while his he version never really is was mess. unlikable, it's hard to overlook that he had a really rough start. Well, don't they all? Show you. God, I cannot watch that show now. Number eight, man. One of the reasons why the Looney Tunes are some of the most beloved cartoons of all time is because they are the definitive anti-Disney tunes. During yeah. the golden age of animation, the Warner Brothers are a bunch of assholes. To be Disney's greatest competitor I'll never forgive them. Everything. I'll never forgive them for what they did to Meat Canyon. Oh, that that's canon, you know, when uh, Bugs Bunny uh, did that shit. That the mouse house was a struggling rapist. By always pushing the envelope that's claimed by more WB, insane, by the way. More explosive, more crazy, and my reaction more, got taken down. well, loony. The cartoons are just about everything <sighs> that Disney is not. And that's well, why shit. people don't care about Sniffles. Sniffles? He looks like something from another Disney movie I've seen. The Great Outdoors is he doesn't look like a Looney Tunes. Back in the late 1930s, Chuck Jones got a boost in his career where he became a director at Warner Brothers. Oh, damn. However, he didn't immediately begin making masterpieces. In order to help well, them how understand much money did he how make? to be a director in animation, he tried to copy Disney's style so that his quality can parallel theirs. Disney. The result of this was the Sniffle Shorts, which very much emulate Disney by being less so unpredictably chaotic and that a lot more That thing just kissed cutesy. him. That man caterpillar kissed that boy mouse. Robin Hood, but I guess you must be Robin Hood if you say you're Robin Hood, because Robin Hood wouldn't tell a lie. Hello, Robin Hood. I'll help you rob the rich and give it to the poor. I'll stand guard if anybody comes along. You belong to Disney. And that's why not many people like Sniffles. Especially not the people who were making the tunes, because this is not what the Looney Tunes cartoon no. should be. Sure, the no, mouse managed shouldn't. to make a dozen of them, but they're Here we slow. Go again. They're barely funny, and that cutesy <sighs> charm wears off pretty quick. 
Granted, I'll give them that they are nicely animated, but that's the only thing that they got going for them. The same can be said about Sniffles himself. He barely has much of a personality other than being a cute little innocent mouse. Just a I understand miles, that Mayan. Jones was learning He's how to be a director Jesus. with and Sniffles, and a real good thing that he managed to find his true voice a few days later when he made the Draft Horse and the Dover Boys, but the mouse proves that what? one major reason why Warner Brothers didn't try to be like Disney is because when they do, they're kind of lame. Why have you got that burglar around your neck? Disney's That's evil. a funny place to have a burglar. Aren't you gonna hit Mr. Bear on the head for coming in at 3 o'clock in the morning with a shoe? Shut the fuck up, Miles. There you go. Number seven, man. As un-Looney Tunes as Sniffles can be, I'll give him that he was only emulating the Disney style. Chuck Jones only wanted to copy the feel of a Disney cartoon in order to get the hang of what being a director, is that? and he wouldn't go too far with having Sniffles That's be a, a full-on Disney ripoff. Thing. The same cannot be said, though, about Foxy. Foxy? Who the fuck? I don't know. Created don't in the no early fox. 1930s by two of Walt Disney's first animators, Hugh Harmon and Rudy Eisen. Walt Disney's still alive, man. They the got him frozen right now. The first cartoon they made with producer Leon Schlesinger after the creation of Bosco. It looks like something Around Mickey Mouse. Around that time, Mickey Mouse there was, was Mickey. the biggest cartoon I just said star it. in Hollywood. And they all knew that if they wanted to be a legitimate competitor in the cartoon industry, Creepy. they'd have to make their own Mickey Mouse. Look, I got stick his tongue Not out only for did Mickey. Harmon and Eisen took that to heart, they took it quite literally by straight yeah. up stealing Mickey's design and only made some small adjustments to say that yeah, it's their you own can't, OG you can't character. Do that. Seriously, Sounds all like they did was add points Sonic to his shoe. ears, give him a bushy tail, add an extra line above his uh, eyes, change his shoes, take off the buttons of his shorts, and that's apparently enough to say that this is an entirely different character that they Mickey totally Miles. did not copy from anyone that's else. That's who I thought when I saw he that. He even has a girlfriend that is pretty much a clone of him wearing a skirt. Minnie. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear Foxy. Oh boy. Yeah, and that's supposed to be Looney Tunes? It's I didn't know about those two. It's to find and his anything dog. in his cartoons that doesn't feel like they got the idea from what Disney did at the time. And that's exactly why Foxy did not where's, last Where's long. the duck at? In total, Donald. there have only been three Foxy cartoons ever made. And allegedly, it yeah. was because Walt Disney himself had to tell Rudy to stop using a Mickey Mouse lookalike. He personally came but out himself and said that shit. there is one thing that I will give credit to Foxy. What's the up? one good contribution he has given to the cartoon world. Upon researching the cartoons, his second short, while it feels a little too familiar, I feel like I've seen that Lucky person Trolley in the front Troubles, before, originated a song that sounds very familiar. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, is that where they got that from? Roger Rabbit? I didn't remember this song. Who knew Foxy had a part in Toontown? But while he may be one of the first Looney Tunes members, Go ahead, kids, it's watch hard Roger to count Rabbit. him as one when he looks like, um, someone else. Hey, Mary Melody. Number six, a bad luck number. When it comes to the Looney Tunes villains, they are some of the best examples of characters that you um, love to hate. Sylvester's not a thing. villain. As much as people want to see cats them fail, eat so mice, that they cats eat birds. Short, like it's bugs nature. Can come out on top of the end. People don't actually hate the villains, if you get what I mean. Tunes Wally like Cody. Daffy Duck, Sylvester, Yosemite Sam, Elmer Fudd, Wally was a Coyote, villain. and more are beloved icons in their own right. You can't catch Claude that road Cat, runner. on the other hand, I could say that I actually hate. Oh boy. Oh dear. Supposing Claude doesn't get along I with I don't him. remember him. Then Claude will have to go. I don't know about you, but throughout my life watching the Looney Tunes, I can never think of a moment where I enjoyed watching Claude Cat. Sure, well, some could argue that he, didn't he was make a big impression. in the and Birdie cartoons where the mice manipulate his mind and Sylvester. make him insane. It's when he takes the antagonistic role when the cat's presence becomes sour. 
He's just supposed After to be evil chaos. time with Hubie and Birdie, Claude would play a new type of villain oh, where he damn. becomes a bully to other animals so that he could be the only pet of the house that gets oh, all the attention. A lot of pieces. Which of shit. usually doesn't work out for him. Oh, John! Look at my house! It's a wreck! Time to get the flamethrower. Yeah, take him out. I get it, sometimes it's not easy getting the despicable character right, and there's probably no one who could ever get to the level of Daffy Duck. But there's something about Daffy Claude and Bugs are the top draws of the Looney Tunes. More spirited than actually funny. It's like Stone Cold in the Rock of wrestling. Absolutely selfish to the point of willing to be cruel in order to get what he wants. Rather it be trying to get rid of the little frisky puppy or even stealing Pussyfoot's bed. Pussyfoot. <laughs> Just the word pussy, just... <laughs> <sighs> YouTube will eventually ban that word for cats. You can't call a cat pussy. What the fuck? I know the point is to make him look bad so that the justice he gets feels He's more He's jerking off his tail. But I can't help but feels like he goes a little too far where there's nothing about him that's even redeemable or that especially dog. enjoyable. Not to mention that he kind of feels like a pointless add-on because he makes me wonder yeah, he why can't this role be played by Sylvester. He See, already plays you already himself have as him. the Toon's go-to antagonistic cat and does the job very well. So well, that's why you don't hear about the other one instead of his yellow knockoff. And the more I see this cat, the more I think Hubie and Birdie got the right idea and just find a way to get rid of him for good. And they did. He just didn't show up anymore, bro. Right? Just one of those days, I guess. He can talk, too. Number five. Okay, I'll admit that making this list wasn't easy. In fact, trying to find Looney Tunes characters that are considered disliked was quite well, a task all the top in ones. Which is why I went onto social media and I asked a group of avid Looney Tunes fans to know who they think is the worst or weakest character of oh, the group. Oh, should have put and a vote. And the amount of responses I got was honestly overwhelming, with over 100 people giving me their answers. By the shit. way, shout out to the cartoon research community. You guys have been very helpful. Yeah, and people among all the, the old school cartoons. They brought up, there is one name that they frequently mention whom they agree that he absolutely stinks. Sacré chéris, les pieux affaires. Him? The skunk? He's been around for a long time, though. Wait, which one are you talking about? Everybody knows Pepe Le Pew. He was one of the top guys. You just don't like him. And people had to cancel him too because now, of the before talking about bullshit. anything else, we need to discuss about the controversy surrounding Pepe Le Pew. Here we go. Because I know that thing is going to awkwardly linger around people's minds like his scent. <sighs> Compared to when his cartoons were released, we live in an no age one cared where at we the feel time. more intelligent and are a little more shit aware of the, the world one. and the people around Everybody's us. Sensitive pussies I know and it shit. wasn't the intentions of Chuck Jones and his team to make no, this behavior look fucking okay, cartoon, but it is comedy. very generous to say that Pepe's actions are nowadays considered outdated, since everyone knows that I romantically chasing people while ignoring their refusal is no longer a laughing he didn't matter actually, and is considered sexual I, I, I'm afraid to say the word if now. If someone gets uncomfortable watching right? these cartoons, it's perfectly justifiable He's just a pervert. A he just His liked to uh, harass that cat. more likely to get him a criminal record than a girl. But that's <sighs> not necessarily why he is often named one of the weakest Looney Tunes characters by many fans. He was in it's Space not Jam. It's just the actions themselves, but also, and most notably... That's all he does. He's a skunk. I mean, he's even more one note than Hippity. In he just stalks every that cat single all the time. cartoon he's in, it's Pepe funny. follows a formula that remains the same in each one. Poor you Pepe got an man. animal, generally a black he's cat, a Looney with Tunes a cane on when her they back, that Pepe him. mistakes for a single female skunk. And the guy passionately tries to get romantically involved with he her. He just loves her, I guess. Uh, my little darling. It didn't show him going, get on your knees, bitch, or anything no. like that. But that wasn't so their intention. Wrong, I'm a friend, dude. Cancel the skunk. It is an affair de mm -hmm. 
Everybody's mm-hmm. pecker mm-hmm. fell right off. It is an affair of we love each other madly. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, my darling, <laughs> I love you. Where have I been? Oh, so life? offensive. Look at that. You offensive, man. Cartoon. That bloom in the spring. Mm-hmm. I think the point was the, that smell However, makes them all grossed out and shit. Odor, she tries to run away as far as she can from the stench, but Pepe's love is too I wasn't offended when I watched this a long time ago. The big chase. But now we're supposed Maybe to be offended, so I gotta pretend I'm offended too. Times, or people but might get mad. The gets quickly repetitive and God, loses all of its fuck appeal. This planet. Admittedly, I didn't put him any higher on the list because I do see the potential in the character. There is plenty of material that you can do with a charming and romantic How many of y'all watched this back in the day? have to do the offensive stuff not many. to be funny. Most people watch my but videos the fact that younger. he's just known for doing the same thing again and again and again yeah, yeah, it was and a little again repetitive, and add an awkwardly he didn't have a billion episodes issue, though. is the reason why not many Looney Tunes fans are in love with this skunk. Why is it that we but to go as far as canceling him like that, woman, I don't know. All he wished to do is get away. They could have had some fresh material for him later on, though. Use his skunk smells of power now, against I'd like enemies. Now, I'd to direct your attention towards the little jingle you hear when I present each number. There's no mistake as to why I use that tune. Because this uh, is the little da, 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 da. song that brings fear to every Looney Tunes fan. What? Why? Because they know when that plays, it is often followed with some of the worst Warner Brothers cartoons ever made. Oh. You see, the period between 1964 and 1969 is considered to be one of, if not the darkest times for the Looney Tunes. Shit. Movie theaters are no longer obligated to buy packages that must include a cartoon. Television became more of a dominant force Advanced in the entertainment stuff, industry. Man. And the budgets for the cartoons themselves were lower than ever before, to the point that it was well, the animator's titties. creativity. Nasty Even when they try to tits. continue Ugh. the legacy of the beloved characters, they only make things worse by highlighting that they have all passed their prime. And if a character ever made a cartoon during that period, then that's where you'll find their worst ones. Like Seriously, ask one. any Looney Tunes fan, and they'll tell you that one of the hardest things to do is to find an animated duo that is worse than Daffy Duck and Speedy Gonzalez. Oh yeah, that's his name, Speedy Gonzalez. I'm offended, I'm offended that they shouldn't have done that. Oh no, no, I was uh, talking to my friend here. Uh, wasn't I, fathead? Uh, no, Duck. I oh my God, that's, that's that's racist, that's racist. However, even if they were in a new era and under new management, <sighs> and seven gotta go. Freeze the death ball. <laughs> that didn't stop the team from creating a new batch of characters to add to the Looney Tunes roster. Such I don't know who the tiger Cat, is. Bunny and Claude, and Merlin the Magic Mouse, and Second Banana. Uh, now you might be wondering, who though? Who is the one that's on this list? I don't know any well, of these. To be very honest. I can't decide which one is the worst among them, so I'm putting them all here. Oh yeah, just Every go ahead and do that. Every character introduced during that horrible era all deserve to be in this characters? spot. Bunny and Claude feel like they're glorifying the Claude. real life criminals they're based on. The WG <sighs> Fields and Kids psychic routine of Merlin and Second Banana get old quick, and there's what? nothing cool about Cool Cat <laughs> with how he's the bland protagonist that's being chased. He belongs on Way to Pooh. Even their cartoons are downright awful, where the plots are awful. tiring, the animation is unappealingly cheap, and the comedy is an embarrassment with how it has no sense that's of timing. Bullshit. Seriously, I wasn't even able to finish watching the first Merlin cartoon, it was so bad. Uh. What do you know? Wrong star. My apologies, sir. They get offended about this cartoon. <laughs> It's by getting sliced in half. Mouse. I hate mouses. In fact, That's a giant you want to know what's the last official Looney Tunes cartoon? Specifically, the final tune that concluded this long-running series of shorts what's on the big screen. A 1969 Cool Cat cartoon called Engine Trouble. And Never yes, heard it's of as it. terribly cringy as it sounds. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, racist, racist. Sheesh, I get that the Looney Tunes always want to top Disney at everything, but they don't have to top Disney Fucking at being it. racist. So if you ever want to have a good time and have a laugh, Their don't was watch not a be... cartoon that starts with this logo I... and this tune, because the characters behind them will give you anything like that. I kind of like that. the old stereotype jokes back in the day in the cartoons. And it was comedy, and now that's been taken away. 
fun. That, there was stuff that makes fun of axes. Like, even my axes been made fun like of. This, I'm not a fan of I know that there are going to be at least a few inclusions that will be controversial in terms of just being here. At this Let's point, shoot. I'm sure Pepe Le Pew is one of them and could arguably be the one that will He's spark canceled, the biggest so. debates in the comments. I mean, He's so canceled more that I'm still seeing footage of him. that they're among the worst other than Pepe, especially this high up on the list. The fuck? Well, I'm a tweet with go but in I don't a like this bird. Page. Tweet is my name, but I don't You're stone cold know my yellow age. bird. I don't have to worry oh, he's on the list, Tweety? He's one of the most popular ones. As Sylvester's rival. I know, pretty shocking of me to put one of the most popular Looney Tunes characters not just on this top 10, but among the top three. Yeah, that's. Especially you when just don't Tweety like is him. one of the like biggest either, merchandise titans. But he is How one of the top this guys. sweet and adorable little birdie be bad in any way? Well, remember the reasons why I hate Claude Cat? Imagine no, actually, if he'd be remember. able to get away with getting what he wants. That the people around him would be on his side and always end up being the winner. Yeah, that Tweety is Bird exactly always wins. Who Tweety is a little prick who is the embodiment of pretty little privileges. <sighs> he knows very well that everyone would take his side because he looks cute and innocent. I'm not taking his side. Noticeable how he takes advantage. Sylvester of it. deserves his revenge. While it doesn't happen often. There are times when his personality does show up, and that's when he reveals that he's just a smug little brat that yeah, loves evil to take shit. his cuteness and shove it on people's faces to make him look superior. I don't like him. Oh, you poor little homeless thing. Why, you're nearly frozen. Sylvester, won't you just move Thomas, out? Give up on being around that bitch. Come right over here and kiss the poor little birdie and make up. You're talking Come to a cat. And, kiss to eat a birdie. and you're holding a bird. That's like holding a mouse and showing it to your cat. Yeah, there you now, go. Now, I will give Tweety credit that he was great when he started with Bob Clampett. Ironically, Bob because of how ridiculously sadistic he was. I did. I taught Is that what he game. hatched? There you go. You ain't showing no mercy to him. What the fuck? Oh, jizz. There was jizz in that gun. Kid show. Back in the day, that was a kid show. But once Fritz now Freeling got his hands on him and aired. paired him up with Sylvester, They'd be going to cancel all it of fast. that maniacal edge is gone in favor of that fake innocent act. Now, I know some would uh, argue, but Animat, they don't know what kids is only like. trying to survive so that he doesn't get I already told you what kids are doing these days. Tag. Do I need to go back okay, and do it? Let me ask you this. Nah, then. forget it. Let's say Sylvester does manage to eat Tweety. And I don't mean just get him in his mouth. I mean actually eat him up completely where you never Chew see up. him again. Put some would barbecue anyone sauce. actually be upset about it? Would no. anyone feel mad that the quote unquote bad guy they won? Say, they or finally would won. it be something that was just He's a, not a bad guy He's a cat. The cartoon equivalent of Ellen DeGeneres? That is the bad guy. There's no purity in that bird. It's all just to fuel his ego to make you think he's all good and cute so that you end up buying yeah. NFTs with he's his face on it. I wasn't joking, by the way. He really is that much of a sellout. Oh, wow. what a hypocrite. Being all cute and innocent can only take you so far. And sure, How come he can he never grew sell up? a lot of clothing. He's still but a when you look bird. beyond that, he is the proof of why nobody likes someone who is dependent on their privileges. That pussy cat gonna have an awful headache in the You're morning. trying to say pussy. Number two. You know what's funny? Among all the major you know players in the Looney Tunes team, none of them are actually a dog. I mean, there are characters that are dogs, like Mark Anthony, or Sam yeah. Sheepdog, oh, or Spike him. and Chester, or the Barnyard Dog who constantly gets tormented <laughs> by Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah. <laughs> That's still funny, actually. <laughs> but it's pretty surprising how one of the most common domestic animals Peter will get doesn't upset have saying a that now. representative in the Looney Tunes world. It offends me. However, that doesn't mean that the directors didn't try. There was one attempt by Chuck Jones, and just one of his cartoons alone can show you exactly why dogs don't get shows. much respect at the WB. Hey, how you doing, kid? Not so good, huh? Eh, too bad. Tough. Why don't you do like me? Who's get that? Charlie a Dog. I cannot think of a single moment when I watch one of these I don't cartoons and come out enjoying Charlie Dog. 
He's like if someone tried to fix Pepe Le Pew, but ended up making him so much worse. Sure, oh. Charlie isn't as controversial as Pepe, but in exchange of the offensiveness, there shouldn't be nothing controversial about no Looney Tunes. Anything likable about him? Fucking what he people's does brains is try are to wired wrong now. To be someone's pet, Bring all that soy milk out of the water with rainbow jizz in it. to take no for an answer. Ah! Fuck! I need some more. Yeah. You don't get it, pal. I'm a bargain. Look, I'm lovable. I'm affectionate. Stop kissing him. Bugs Bunny was oh, doing good. weird yeah, shit back in the day, though. Just kids didn't notice. But what makes Charlie Dress Dog up like a lady kissing the man and shit. Even more than his own actions is his intentions with why he wants to be a pet. He's not a lonely puppy who's looking for an owner to love. He's deliberately oh looking God. for someone to be his servant, <laughs> using them for their home, for their food, all while pretending to show them affection <sighs> when none of it is genuine. He don't Seriously, deserve nothing. he doesn't hide that he views owners like an all-day sucker. Does the dog bring beer, though? Sucker. Among wow. the other characters on this list, you could probably I do find remember something this clip that's somewhere. redeemable about them, no matter how small it could be. But with Charlie Dog, there is nothing that can be said that can make him look good or funny. Just get he him may out. have only appeared in just a handful of cartoons, but there's no huh? denying that Charlie has overstayed his welcome. Well, damn. That's pretty bad, dude. Andy, stay out. How many times do I have to tell you I am I, mean, believe, believe, I can't do his voice, man. So, with that mutt out of the way, before we get into the worst character of the bunch, the worst. I'd like to have an honorable mention. Okay. Honorable mention. Should it be mentioned? You may remember that a significant rule for this list is that a character has to appear in at least two cartoons to qualify. Which Two. you'd be surprised how this really narrows down the nomination. Let's say it. However, let's say that we take away that rule, and suddenly all of the one off characters are allowed to be here. Who would okay. be the worst among them? The one that the best thing about them there's is that so many. never appeared in anything else since. I know there's a lot of options out there, frog? but I'm gonna have to go with this guy. I was gonna check me away. Oh, it's racist. I, I got to say it's racist. The unnamed Black yes, Hunter. This is a real character from an actual Warner Brothers cartoon. They did Brothers fuck up cartoon. the way he looks, though. While he may not have an official name, this guy is from the 1941 <laughs> short All This and Rabbits Do. As shocking as this I really character don't remember may be, this. the cartoon is honestly not that memorable. It's the typical <laughs> Elmer Fudd slash Bugs Bunny tune where they go through the same routine and Bugs pulls off the same kind of He's not Elmer him, Fun though. But the only difference is that Fudd is replaced with a slow-minded black man who serves as an excuse Replace? for the team to use all the racist jokes they want. Now wait a minute, now. Relax. Now, now hold it a minute. What's he doing? What y'all got there, man? It's what the fuck? Me up <laughs> of course, I, I am well worse, aware man. that Warner Brothers has a dark history with racism in their past cartoons, uh, especially with well, the was, infamous censor. Was he like thinking racism at the time when he was watching of, it? But it's like the guy's only purpose is to be a black. That could have been some racist thing. No other qualities about him. He was kind Technically, of some could argue that he's supposed to be a caricature of vaudevillian actor Step and Fetch It. I don't but know nothing him. can change how this is just racist. He's clearly portrayed as dumb, slow, and has a gambling addiction. That's all he That's does. And if his only purpose in life is to be a literal walking stereotype of black people, then maybe it's for the best to keep Fudd as the Looney Tunes true hunter. I He's don't know his name, but honestly, the less I know about him, the better. Well, call me Adam. <laughs> His voice. <sighs> I don't know what they're right at, but everybody's going to say it's racist now. Oh, and one more thing before declaring the number one. Just tell if us you number enjoyed this one. top ten, then don't forget to subscribe for more crazy cartoon oh. chaos from me. I'm, Anyways, ready, I'm ready for number <clears> one. You'd be surprised that this was actually an easy choice. 
even when my... starting this list, oh, no. I knew that there was only one character that would immediately be at number one. And if you know your Looney Tunes history, I you know, know exactly who I'm talking about. I didn't watch the it religiously. One that fans, critics, animators, and historians alike all unanimously agree that oh, this is shit. not only the worst Looney Tunes character, that but also up. one of the worst cartoon characters ever made. All right, let's and see it. so, for the number one worst He's Looney Tunes character, meet... Buddy? Our hero? I know Back nothing in about him. Hugh Harmon and Rudy Ising broke up Man, with Leon really and there. walked away with their characters like Bosco, leaving Leon completely cartoonless. In a desperate act to stay in the business, he brought in several animators from other studios to make him a new cartoon that star. Looks like and the best they can come up with is a guy. He's not some anthropomorphic animal that makes him distinguishable. He doesn't have a personality that goes beyond being happy-go-lucky. He That's doesn't terrible, even have man. anything or do anything that makes him stand out. He's just a purely bland white guy that barely faces any you conflicts. You got the dress from his color? Wow. So it is pretty stupid. That's not Looney Tunes. Hold on, is that? Wait, wait, go back to that guy again. Wait, what? Oh no, not this racist crap again! What? Not even his pals are able to do anything about the staleness of his cartoons, where they just play the typical roles these shorts generally have, like Cookie <sighs> being Buddy's girlfriend and Towser as his loyal dog. What? There are even records that show that nobody at Warner Brothers or anyone who worked on Buddy oh, actually God. liked him, where Bob Clampett called him a creature of limitless I wish blandness. I knew a little bit. In fact, his case is so bad that his unoriginality is now a punchline that some ex. used to make fun of him. I didn't know that was, that, that was where he was from originally. Well, what do you think? Congratulations, Borax. You've discovered a cure for insomnia. And oh, this is exactly why he's one of the worst tunes ever. Yeah, he is one of the worst. Because he offers absolutely nothing. He's an obvious ripoff of Mickey Mouse, but with literally zero memorability or has any likability to Mouse. make his audience feel something. There's nothing, I'm sure to, somebody like. There's nothing at it. to laugh at. There's nothing to express an emotion towards. There is nothing that is worth investing a brain cell to have Shit. you remember him. They're exactly what cartoons watch when they watch old cartoons. I do agree Just that a few the, the black guy that was kind of racist. Substance or meaning that can but it was only funny, make the time though. Pass by. It wasn't like Out of too all offensive. The yeah, I'm history, not sure a bunch of people are not going to get back. the most forgettable, you know, boring, bland, I think unoriginal, everybody's been made fun and of. above all else, the worst Looney Tunes character Just don't go too far, time. like, you know, Looney Tunes. That's all. Wow, he blew up. <laughs> well, how else would you end off a Looney Tunes video? That was a good way of ending it. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. And I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.